Today's Jessica and Friends, episode 46. Two for one. This will be fun. Feel like the babies are in this picture. I know who's going to be in this episode. Me. And I'm not totally wrong because I'm right here now. But then again, by that logic, I'm in every episode. Hmm. One year ago, I was Liam and Lucinia were created. One year later, we're setting up decorations for their first ever birthday. That's the kind of how that works. By quick. I know, That's right? because we've been spending a lot of our time taking care of the twins. It feels like not that long ago they were introduced. Yes. Perhaps you're right. A year feels Still, about right. At the I have same many time. emotions going through my mind right now while we're setting things up for Liam and Lucinia's first ever birthday. Completely understandable. Anyway. What's the next thing we need to do? Change that will diapers. Be taking care of Liam and Lucinia. I'll go do that. I need you to call up Carly and let her know we're going to need some help. Thanks for coming with and helping me with the gift shopping, you guys. It's no trouble, Carly. We're always happy to help out. So, what kind of gifts did your parents want us to get for Liam and Lucinia? Baby gifts. Clothes and toys suitable for babies and toddlers. They're babies. They don't want clothes. Control stuff. You dork. I knew you were going to say that. Well, yeah, it's the a kid's show. The timing seemed fitting enough. I like your idea, Jace, but let's not overdo it like you do. I don't mean there's a put I don't down. overdo it's a, it. It's a simple statement of fact. You told me you my little pony. Yeah, that's a that girl's show. I didn't they. say that. I still don't think that counts. If you say so. I do know something that would be just perfect as a gift for Liam and Lucinia. Which is? A teddy bear. Ah, that sounds like a perfect gift. Thanks. I saw it while I was out Children shopping the teddy other bears weekend. The moment I laid eyes with it, I knew it would be a perfect gift to get for Liam and Lucinia. I'd even guarantee that the twins would fall asleep almost immediately while hugging the toy itself. Because from my experience taking care of Liam and Lucinia, trying to put baby twins to sleep is not as easy as it looks. Mm. Perhaps them sleeping with a teddy bear toy would make things easier. Toy? Don't you mean toys? We could get two teddy bears, one for each of the twins. Yeah, they shouldn't well, have to get geez, only one. That's the thing. We can't get two teddy bears for the twins. Why not? Why not? That's why. Ah. That's a big ass bear. Yeah. No wonder you wanted to pick out this thing, Carly. It's huge. Do you no really think you need our help. And Lucinia will like it? I am absolutely sure of it. They can hug it until Who's they're Carly well Carly? to their 80s. Hang on. I'm putting her on speaker. It's taller than you guys. Hi, Stephanie. Hey, Carly. What's up? Nothing much. I'm with Jason Jessica K right now. You're also on speaker. Oh, nice. Hi, Jace and Jessica. Hi, Hi Stephanie. Stephanie. We're here with so this big ass bear. At the moment? We're in town, looking around and shopping for presents for Liam and Lucy. We need to look very birthday. far. Oh, that's cool. Find anything good? Carly did. Yes. It's this huge brown teddy bear. That's about it, though, so far. We've still got quite a bit of looking around to do. I think we've got. A, I it's think we right. have enough. That bear is I not sure going to be cheap. I sure the twins will like the present that me and my family got for them. You got them gifts. I'm sure they will. Are Believe it or not, we also gave them a the giant bear. Fun. I will be for sure. My parents won't be able to since they'll be at work. Neither can Kali. Her college is far away, even for driving distance. No, but Carly, my parents did say that I could bring Aspen with me. Aspen hasn't met Liam and Lucinia yet, has she? First nope, she hasn't. At least not yet. So when I heard that I could bring her today to the party, I got really excited. I'd be too. Well, I have to go. I'll see you three later this afternoon at the party. All right. See you later, so Stephanie. Bye, Stephanie. Bye, Stephanie. Bye, guys. By step fart me. That well, wasn't mean. this should be yeah, interesting. Whatever. Now let's get back to what we were first focused on. How are we going to fit this in the truck? Okay, Jace, move over. I guess we could tie it to the roof.
Hey there, Stephanie. That's cute. Hey, Taylor. How's my bestie Ben? Ben, great. Hey, Aspen. I'm a can sucker for those who really like the adult mother character with the toddler. Taylor. But again, I'm That's also good a enough for me. Your timing couldn't be more perfect. Liam and Lucinia just woke up from their afternoon nap. That's great. I'll take you two to Liam and Lucinia's room so you can see them. My mom said we will be giving them their gifts and singing happy birthday to them very soon. Where would you like this present to go? Set it on the dining room table with the others. Let me I wonder guess. which one they're going to want to open first. There's a giant inside that big present. No, actually, it's an arcade chamber. I found out from Carly earlier this morning while I was out having lunch. Gotcha. All right, Aspen. We're going to set our present on the table over there. Aspen is just asking then, for Then you'll be meeting the birthday name. babies in their Her name bedroom. is one letter away from a drug to help with headaches. That's my good birthday, babies. You two know what today is, don't you? Today is your very first birthday. A special day that we celebrate every year on this very date. Um, Mom, do you need January some help? January 6th. Holding what? both of the twins at once can feel very heavy. Okay, so now that you mention it, uh, I'm starting to feel just a little sore holding Lucinia. Would you mind taking her for me? I wouldn't Liam, mind Liam, however, is only three pounds. Come here, Lucinia. Your big sis Carly is going to hold you for a while. Thank you for your help, Carly. Anytime, Mom. Right in here, Aspen. You will find the two precious little ones. Hello, Mrs. Haven. Hello, Stephanie. And hello there, Aspen. I think Aspen is eyeing Liam and Lucinia. Oh yeah, she definitely It's is. kind of creepy. Would you like to meet Liam and Lucinia now, Aspen? Give it one by size, she's only like two years We're older We're ready than over here. <laughs> I shouldn't laugh, but it's like, by size comparison, Hi. she could like, Me? step Aspen. on them. Aw, oh, I think Lim and Lucinia are taking a liking to Aspen already. Well, then that's got to be a good sign. I think they're going to get along just fine as they grow up. I sure do hope you're right, Taylor. Especially after this very touching moment. Agreed. It is a touching moment. A happy moment. All right, so originally, me and Jade were going to do a classic birthday cake today for Liam and Lucinia. But, we thought this might be a bit more, fitting. One cupcake for each of them, frosted in the colors that match the twins' clothing. Are we going to put birthday candles on the cupcakes? It would give this that nice, birthday nostalgic feeling. Well, it would be nice to do that. But, we're not going to, as a safety precaution. Some babies have touched a candle on their very first birthday. So it makes total sense. But at the very least, we can still sing happy birthday to the twins. Yep, we sure Some can. Some babies have touched a candle on their very first birthday. Oh no. Would you look at that? They're already digging into their cupcakes. Well, it looks like they're going to be busy doing that for the moment. So let's sing happy birthday to them in the meantime. Hooray, the copyright song. Actually, I think this falls under fair use now just because by how old of a song it is. I'm not singing it, I have enough copyright claims on this channel. Happy birthday, Liam and Lucinia. So you think you were right? Every single birthday. Surprised the girl that did it first. The stereotypical boy thing. You silly little babies. Cupcakes are meant for eating, not for wearing on your heads. Then again, you two do look very adorable looking like that. It may be adorable, but we better get these two cleaned up. Yeah, cleaning them up is going to be the real pain. So 
Some kids would never change, though. <laughs> I don't know why, but it reminded me of some video I saw where it's like... Three boys had gotten a gender reveal of their new sibling coming. Because it was decided on the type of cake. When they found it was pink, they realized they were getting a new sister. And two of the boys were just bloody depressed by it. Just like crying their eyes out that they were going to get a sister and not another brother. It was just... Uh, they were like eight and some... They were like six and like that. So it's like, who cares? <laughs> it's just funny. I don't know. But it is adorable and... It's interesting that they're well, it's not really interesting, but it's like wow, it's been a year since these kids were introduced. It feels like I said, it feels like it was more recent, but it also feels like yeah, a year sounds about right, you know? Feel like a year, maybe about eight months, but it's like eh, I don't know. Time flies when you're having fun, eh? And it's always fun to watch this series. It was a fun episode just to see a lot of, you know, mischief and stuff like that, some fun a nice cool down episode stuff like that. See, while every episode can have its villain and stuff like that, and just be like, have your occasional prick, it's nice to just have one where you just chill out and relax, you know? I don't envy the sisters, though, that they're gonna clean up the and stuff, because good luck getting cake batter out of hair. Ugh. And getting children to take a bath. Ugh. It's like a nightmare. I'll never have kids, and if I do, I'll adopt. As you can say that now, I'm only 25 years old, 26 years old. I don't know how old I am. Anyway, no one cares, and everyone's already clicked off the video. So, later.